Good morning. Again. Good morning, Commander. Thought you'd have stayed for coffee. Busy morning. Dinner? Okay. But if you try to recreate your mother's stew recipe again, I'm going to the mess hall. You're only here until the end of the week. And I intend to monopolize your time. Good morning. Hmm. Yes. I'll send you a copy of the report. I'm sure you'll find it interesting. Permission to come aboard, Captain. Permission granted. Welcome aboard, Mr. Prescott. Thank you, sir. Permission to return to duty station, Captain. Are you sure you don't want some rest after that long flight? Carry on. <laughs> New stripes. Youthful energy. I remember. I'm not that old yet. I'm glad you agreed to be my first officer. Starfleet Security is going to miss you. I feel that my skills are best utilized on a starship, not... A desk job? I have had time to revamp many of Starfleet's procedural white papers. I'm sure the Constitution will be a very efficient ship once we make some fundamental changes. Rewriting procedures? I'm going to regret having you as my first officer, aren't I? More than likely, sir. Yellow alert. All command personnel to duty station. Yellow alert. All command personnel to duty station. Care to join the fun? Yellow alerts are rarely fun. Captain's Log, Stardate 5816.5. While en route to Starbase 6 to deliver Commander Tackett to his new command, the Constitution, we received a distress signal from an unexpected source. Anything? No, sir. Just the automated beacon. But they are calling specifically for us. On speakers. Sergeant, this is for Captain. Request the signal. This is Potemkin. Request assistance. Farragut, this is Potemkin. Request assistance. Farragut. They're not responding to hails. Secure from alert, sir? Not yet. We're approaching the coordinates.
How is it possible? She's been gone for two years. I don't know. Wilcox is a resourceful captain, but still. Potemkin is listing. Minimal power. Hull is scorched, plating damaged, but salvageable. Bring us in close. Maybe we can... Jack? Shields. Shields! Red alert. Arm all weapons. She's not raising shields. Weapons are not targeting. How did it get here? Not sure. There's a lot of interference causing sensor scattering. Conflicting readings. I need time to sort it out. Life signs? Detecting 23 human life signs. Most of the ship is on minimal power. Weapon systems are offline. Most of the ship is uninhabitable. Like they've been in a war zone. I don't believe she's a tactical threat at this time, Captain. But... Thank you, Mr. Weston. Captain, you're being held. They're asking specifically for you. On speakers. This is Captain Preston Wilcox of the Potemkin. I am hoping to reach Captain Jack Carter of the USS Farragut. Please respond. Wilcox? Not our Wilcox. Put him on screen. Clean up that signal. Farragut? This is Captain Carter of the Starship Farragut. Jack, I was hoping I'd find you here. You had no idea what a relief it is that you... Explain your presence here, Captain Wilcox. The Federation... Yes. I'm sure your Federation wouldn't be happy to see us. Look, Jack, I'm here because I need your help. You're joking. I'm not. Please, this could be better explained in person. May my first officer and I beam over? We can brief you on everything. Sir. One moment, Captain. Channel needed. I don't know if it's curiosity or foolishness, but I want to know what's going on. Can we trust him? Wilcox was always a very... But as the Captain already said, this is not our Wilcox. Well, we need to know what's going on, and how they got an entire starship here. I can't believe it's just another transporter accident. They asked for you. What if it's a trap? Can we trust our sensors on how damaged they are? They know our systems as well as we do. By the book? <laughs> okay, Mr. Weston, have security detail on all decks. Hi. RT, have fossil report to auxiliary control. Let's cover all bases for our special guest. All right, Captain Wilcox. We'll receive you and your first officer in one hour. Thank you, Jack. Wilcox out. Think you can give us a hand? She's your ship, Gary. I don't want to get in the way. But if I recall, you programmed several simulations like this situation back at the Academy. But if I recall, you beat them. Listen, two stubborn heads are better than one. We need your expertise. Very well. Why didn't we just attack? Don't be a fool. We couldn't attack a puppy right now, let alone a Federation starship. But if we take... That's not why we're here. But he wants us I to... know what your friends want. But I'm in command of this ship and this mission. I suppose that includes making us wear these ridiculous costumes? In my research, I found an old saying that we have in common in both our universes. When in Rome, do as the Romans do. I'm trying to save the Empire. Don't you see that? We're self-destructive. If we cannot end this civil war, then mankind is doomed. This is the only way. 
even you have to understand. He's wrong about this. Whatever you say, Captain. How much longer till the rift closes? Hours. We don't have less than half that time before it's too small to navigate through. Any luck finding a way to stabilize it? None so far, sir. The library computer tried to reference something called the Jersey Devil when I entered the data. Perhaps a potential reference to a similar sighting before the First Empire. Ancient Earth history lessons. Useless. Are you sure? Yes. Jack, you need to see this. On screen. The Potemkin and... Magnifying. Where did that come from? Unknown. We detected it about 30 minutes ago. Unusual energy readings, no mass. It looks like a gaseous nebula, but it's not. Now look at this. I believe that's the Alpha Persei star cluster. Studying star charts on your time off? <laughs> time off? And here. That looks like... Magnifying. It's the same star cluster. But... That's impossible. A rift? A tear in space-time. A hole between our two universes. Did they create it? From what we can tell, this is a naturally occurring phenomenon. These rifts could open everywhere all the time, but they open to nowhere, to nothing. It's amazing they were able to navigate through that. That's how they got here. But they can't stay, not for long, not if they want to get home. Why? It's closing rapidly. In 18 hours, it'll be too small for the hull of their ship, and in 36, it'll close completely. RT? It looks familiar, but I can't put my finger on it. Computer can't make heads or tails out of it either. Familiar how? Captain, Potemkin's signals are ready to transport. Have the transport room stand by and have Commander Smithfield join us. Transporter room, stand by. Commander Smithfield, please report to transporter room one. Foster, report to auxiliary control. RT, Mr. Weston, you're with me. Keep an eye on things for me, would you? He's not himself. I noticed. We are receiving cell signal cell. Energize. Ian? Permission to come aboard. Granted. Excuse me, I don't think we've met. As I've been told, there are likely to be some of us who have not necessarily had the same life experiences in our respective universes. Yet you expected me on the Farragut. Hoped would be a better term, rather than the alternative. Alternative? Unimportant. These are my senior officers, Commanders Tackett and Smithfield. This is my Chief of Security, 
Lieutenant Commander Weston. My shadow during this visit, I assume? Yes, I am. Well, it is indeed a pleasure to meet this Chief of Security on Farragut. My first officer, Commander Ian Donnelly. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. This way to the briefing room. Excuse me. You give me the impression we've met before. No, you haven't. Commander. You keep a tight ship, Jack. She's in fine condition, ready for battle. This is a vessel of exploration, and yes, we are fully capable of defending ourselves. Enjoy the view. This is all you're going to see over. Come in. Gentlemen, have a seat. Recording. Okay, I'm listening. Well, Jack, you always were direct. Let's get something straight. I don't know you. You have a resemblance to someone I know and respect. And that's the only reason I've agreed to anything. But let's not push it. All right then. The Empire is dying, and it's your fault. Our fault? Ever since the transporter malfunction that caused our Kirks to swap places, we have been engaged in a civil war. How's that our fault? He inspired the Vulcans to revolt. Other races followed. The Empire is destroying itself. I fail to see how that's a problem, let alone ours. You don't understand. You may not like the idea of the Empire, but like your Federation, it has kept peace and prosperity throughout our galaxy. With this war, entire races will be obliterated, entire worlds destroyed including ours. The end of your Earth? Amongst many worlds, yes. It's inevitable. Unless this rebellion can be put down. And what are you expecting the Federation to do about this? We won't take sides. If the Federation could come in as mediators, in a show of strength, in support of the Empire, then the lesser rebellions might cease and the Empire would be able to focus on more important threats. Like wiping out the Vulcans? Well, that would be their choice. You're expecting the United Federation of Planets to come in on the side of the Empire to mediate peace. Cessation of hostilities. In a show of strength. You'd expect us to attack. No. But showing in numbers great enough to get the Rebels to believe that you might intervene. This is foolish. Federation could help us rearm. The rebellion could be crushed and the war would end quickly. Commander! Enough. I think this meeting is over. Captain, please. Understand that Commander Donnelly does not speak for me or those within the Empire that want to end this war without further bloodshed. I beg you to reconsider. I don't have a lot of time. We know your door is closing in more ways than one. Please, Captain. Commander, sit down. Captain, this is a waste of time. Commander! Now. I'm not suggesting that the Federation come in with an invasion force. I'm saying that showing strength might encourage those who are already considering lowering their arms to do so without further bloodshed. And to save more of the Empire. Save more of its people and cultures, yes. If the Federation did agree to help in any way, how could they? The rift you used to get here is closing, and the odds of opening up another one between our two dimensions? 627,483 to 1. We've encountered these rifts before. That's 
far back as the early history of the Empire, before we had any idea of what we had seen. As science developed, we found that we could try to predict these rifts and where they might occur, but where they would open up to remain random. So, finding this rift was blind luck? No. We theorized that a rift might open here, and my ship was dispatched. We were shocked to discover what it opened to. The Potemkin is the only vessel that I know of to traverse the rift and survive. Just barely. So back to the question. With the rift closing, what difference would it make? There are multiple theories on how to predict these rifts. Some even theorize that they could be directed, that we could intervene to determine the endpoints, and perhaps establish one as a more permanent doorway. But you haven't figured that out yet. Well, we had hoped that we could share our data with you, and together we could solve these equations. You do understand that none of these are decisions I can make on my own. I understand that completely. I'll put in a petition with Starfleet for mediation, but I wouldn't expect a quick response. Please, get them to understand. We don't have a lot of time for decision. Perhaps if Commander Tackett could take a look at our data on the rifts. You might see something we didn't and perhaps be able to maintain, reopen, or even direct one. I could try. Maybe I'll figure something out they didn't. I'll transmit the data upon my return to the Potemkin. Mr. Weston, please escort our guests back to the transporter room. Thank you, Captain Carter. I'll let you know what I hear back from Starfleet. Well, that was interesting. Mike? I'm okay, Jack. It's just... It's been a long time. Thoughts? I always trusted Wilcox, and he seems a lot like our Wilcox. But he's not. This is not a decision that we're going to make on our own. Mike, can you get the long-range communication systems work with all that interference in the rift? Could take a while. Fast as you can. Understood. As soon as Potemkin transmits all the data on the rift, let me know what you can about it and what they think they know. Perhaps there's a way to close it if we need to. Yes, sir. He did seem a lot like our Wilcox. I'll be on the bridge. Really, it's just a lot to digest. We have a lot to do in a short time to get it all done. Back to the grindstone, Commander. Energize. Well, that was disconcerting. How's that, Chief? Temkin was my last assignment. Except was Captain Wilcox. Our Wilcox. I don't recognize that other of this elf. You wouldn't. In our universe, he died years ago. Sava. Get these back to the armory. I want a full inventory by 1,500 hours. Yes, sir. I'll be in auxiliary control. What did you say to me? You may have jeopardized the entire plan. Well, 
It is a weak plan to beg for mediation. That was never the real plan. Our science has not mastered the complexities of the rifts. The Federation have access to sciences we do not. But most importantly, when the Federation comes to mediate, they will inevitably be attacked by the rebels, forcing them to defend themselves and making them our unwitting allies. But they would never agree. I was playing on trust. They trust, Commander. It is their greatest weakness. And I had them. But... But your inability to keep quiet may have jeopardized that opportunity. Ergo, you are a fool. Perhaps some time in the agony booth might... Oh! Help me! So, if I'm a fool, what exactly are you? I know what you are. You're in my chair. Banning? Yes, Captain. Send them over the data stream. Immediately, sir. They're transmitting the rift data now. They've been studying these things for a long time. Since when? Back to... When? The 18th century. What? It's just... Seventh Axis Point. A parallel universe? Not parallel, Captain. I think the word alternate is more accurate. But there is no interference in our universe. But what about theirs? It's different now. Changed. The Washington? Oh no. Jack, raise shields, now! Logan, raise shields! Shields aren't responding, sir. There's something in the data stream. I'm on it. It's a deutronic virus. I think I can fix it. Activate. Next seven. Controls aren't responding. We got nothing.
everyone freeze or your captain dies. He's just stunned. But my weapon is set to torture and can be used on any one of you. What? How about a demonstration? Okay. Don't! Any questions? We now have auxiliary control, Captain. Activate the intruder control system everywhere but the bridge. Donnelly out. It's time for your crew to go nighty night, Captain. Where's Commander Wilcox? Oh, he met with an unfortunate accident. Not unfortunate for you. Hmm. Commander Prescott, it's a pleasure to meet you. Farragut is secure, sir. Excellent. Proceed as planned. You will need to utilize Transporter Room 2, as I'm rather sure Transporter Room 1 is out of commission. I want our flag transferred over here and the Farragut personnel taken care of in two hours. Understood? Understood, Captain. <sighs> well, now that we have that out of the way. Correct. The rift endpoints are not random. There are not multiple rifts open at the same place. I don't understand. There is only one rift between our universes, and it can be traced back to when it first opened over 500 years ago. And the rift moves. Yes, but I was able to track it using the algorithms that he got from the Solonai. The Solonai, they were scavengers. They served no useful purpose in the Empire. The Farragut eradicated Solon Prime years ago. Well, in our universe, yes. But here, they were scholars. They discovered the rifts and they used them to view time. But it was Tackett that found a way to reopen them to rescue his shipmates. And it's that information which will allow us to stabilize and enlarge the rifts now. Here. These are the final calculations for the completion of the device. Get the team started on preparing the Potemkin. I'll join you later. I've got some other, some other matters that require my attention. Sir? Changing out of this costume, for one. Oh, I don't know. I think they're kind of flattering in an old-fashioned sort of way. Just carry out your orders. Computer, show me all the files on Michelle Smithfield and Ian Donnelly. Emphasis on where data overlaps. Working. Smithfield. Commander. Michelle. Current assignment, NCC-1647, USS Farragut, Chief Engineering Officer, Donnelly, Commander, Ian, deceased, married 12 years ago on Star D. Yeah. 
you're torturing him! Agony booth. All pain. No damage. What are you looking for, sir? I read a report once that this brig design had a flaw. And the reviewer was able to get out. I wish that guy was here with us. He is. I'm sure Mr. Weston has already compensated. Maybe he has. But I bet you understand the specs better than the engineers that built it. What are you waiting for? Don't you want to get out of here? I'm sure you're better suited to this task than I am, sir. You've been pushing papers for too long. What's with you? Ever since you got on board, you've hardly said a word. I'm waiting for the person to go ahead and quote regulations to my face to drive me crazy. Where's your drive, your confidence? Commander, please. I'll try. Try nothing. I chose the first officer who's going to put rules back to my face. One that will always follow orders. I chose Henry Prescott. And I ordered you to get us out of here. Yes, sir. About time. image of him. No, I am Ian, and I have missed you so much. But you said you didn't know me. I couldn't let them know that. They'd think I was weak. They detest the weak. I was ready to destroy this whole ship and everyone on her. And then I saw you. Me? You were always my rock. You kept me from being impulsive. You kept me steady. I don't understand. I lost my Michelle a long time ago. She was everything to me. Don't you see? All the possible variations of two universes. We found each other again. We did. It's our destiny. Stupid ideas. Ah! What did I just tell you, old man? You know, you should be proud. You did pretty well. A couple more minutes of consciousness, and you would have broken the record. Can I at least have my med kit? Sure. I have some flowers. <laughs> What? All right. Peace, next. Let him go. No, to you. It's okay. I'll go. Been better. You were in that thing for almost two hours. Is that all? Without my med kit, I can't tell if they did anything permanent. As I stated before, no damage. The captain will recover. It's a tool of interrogation. He's right. In theory. What do you mean? They didn't ask me anything. Found it. 
I take it you have a plan, RT? Escape from prison? Beat up the bad guys? Take the ship back. Sounds more like a goal than a plan. Did you expect graphs and charts? Starfleet Regulation 137.204 clearly states that in imprisonment conditions, discussions of a tactical nature are high. And he's back. What is it they want from us? Information. They didn't ask me anything. I think they already have what they wanted. From who? Me. I guess you could say this is kind of all my fault. I think you need to tell me what you're talking about. I told you on the bridge that the Empire has been studying the Rift since the 18th century because that's the first time one opened, and we were there. When you were transported back to the American Revolutionary War, and the solemn I told us that the way to view the past... The Pratilis device allows us to observe events from the past and future through a dimensional doorway, a window into another universe. But when I jury rigged the system to bring you back, I think I tore a hole in space-time. And that tear has been appearing and reappearing for centuries. And I think Donnelly found a way to track it. You ripped a hole in the universe? He was trying to rescue us. If he hadn't, we'd been stuck in the past. But not our past. Washington saw you leave. Their entire universe. The Empire. You're saying we started it all? There's no way you could have known. I guess that's why we have a non-interference directive in place. I didn't understand their technology well enough to understand the consequences. I don't think they did either. Commander, to blame ourselves for the direction their society took, we don't know they might not have taken that path without us. Actually, I do. In the data stream, it talks about the first great Terran Empire and their ruler, Emperor Washington. People are responsible for their own actions, Commander. It's not possible to force someone to become a dictator. Although we may have had an impact on them, it's the path they chose. It's who they were, RT. Captain Donnelly. Captain here, go ahead, Banning. The device is installed and ready based on your calculations and design, sir. Then prepare to activate it. Understand, sir, that once we do, all power on the Potemkin will be diverted and the antimatter will flow directly into the device. The ship will be crippled. I'm aware of that. We have the Farragut now, so it's of no consequence. Activate the device and have the remainder of the crew transported over here. As you command. Get back to the Farragut. Have fun. working perfectly, sir. As soon as the rift is wide enough to open communications, let me know. They will be ready to begin. Yes, sir.
Mm -hmm. I'm here. It feels so strange. Yeah. It's probably just the shock of everything. I'm sure you'll feel better in a few days. If you say so, Ian. Mm -hmm. Michelle, mm -hmm. your friends are not being very cooperative. I need you to help me to get them to play along. Play along? Mm -hmm. Just until this game is over. And then we can leave this place and be together forever. Yes, Ian. How much longer? If I could just short out the main junction behind this wall panel. Will this help? It's exactly what I need. I'm not gonna ask where you got it, Captain. Once we get out of here, we use the internal sensors to pinpoint the Potemkin crew and use the anesthesine gas on them. Well, I'm no tactician, but that sounds like a good plan to me. It's effective, that's for sure. That's what they did to us. Once we get the bridge back, we can find out what they're doing to keep the rift open. Left, left turn, good. Somebody's coming. Well, morning friends. Hope you're all well. Little missus and I just wanted to swing over, see how y'all felt today. Where's my crew? Aren't we cranky? Now, I thought the agony booth might have improved your disposition. Where are they? I don't answer your questions, Carter. You answer mine. I guess you don't have a good handle on the situation then. You don't have much of a crew left. So you have all of mine in one place? Okay, enough of your inane chatter, Carter. Let them go! No, but perhaps we can make a deal. A deal? Of course. I'm not an unreasonable man, and I'm also not a fool. It would be incredibly difficult to man this vessel with my small crew, even with Michelle's help automating systems. What I could use is more crew, and I'm looking for volunteers. You've got to be kidding me. Oh, come on. This is an opportunity to be a part of something bigger than yourselves. To be a part of our new empire, built on the ashes of your Federation. You think you can conquer the Federation with one starship? Well, of course not, Carter. But now that we have the Protellus device working, we are stabilizing and enlarging the rift. Our armada sits on the other side, ready to invade. Protellus device? Oh, I'm sorry, Commander Tackett. I forgot to thank you for working out all those equations for me. I mean, if it wasn't for you, this whole trip would have been worthless. Isn't that right, sweetheart? You tell him. Tell him. We don't want anyone to get hurt, do we? No one hurt. Mm-hmm. And we'll be together forever. Together forever. Mike! Snap out of it! Jack? Shh. Now, sweetheart, remember, we're only trying to help them. Robert? Where's Robert? Shh, 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 shh. Now! Oh! I've never been fond of love triangles. We'll say we get rid of a third of this equation. Ian, no! Michelle. Michelle. My love. It's me. You're Ian. 
You're Ian. My Ian is dead. <laughs> Doctor. Slight change of plans. Whatever device they're using to keep the rift open, it's probably being powered by the Potemkin. It seemed to me they transferred their entire crew here. RT, if it is based on the Pratels device used by the Solonite, you'd be the best person to stop it. I know I can. Sir. The rest of you with me to auxiliary control. You want to come with me, number one? You well, plan on calling me that all the time, do you, sir? Let's go. Good luck. Robert? Shh. I love you. We need to stop the bad guys, sir. Bad guys? You're not developing a sense of humor on me, are you? I hope not, sir. You well enough to man the transporter console? You know it, sir. You have a phaser. Sorry, sir. I would have lost my temper. Three of you remain here, using the internal sensors to pinpoint the Potemkin crew, gassing them, giving me a clear path. Where are you going? To take back my bridge. You three, on me. Energize. Jack was right. The crew is gone. It's just up ahead. Keep heading this way. It's hooked into the main energizers. Sir? Even if I could shut this thing down, the damage is done. The rift is open and stabilizing. Options. If we can open the main power flow control valve, flood the ship with radiation, ignite it with a torpedo, the resulting explosion should be enough to destroy the rift permanently. Well, then let's do that. It's not an automated system. The valve is going to have to be held open manually.
Commander Foster is signaling, sir. Car here. Anesthesine gas released, all sections. Good. What about the rest of the crew? We found them, sir. They're in the hangar deck. They've rigged all the exits. It'll take time to undo every booby trap. Understood. Keep me informed. Carter out. Captain. Tag it to Farragut. We're receiving you, RT. We don't have a lot of time. We have to blow it up. The resulting explosion will close the rift. Okay, what do we need to do? I am setting my tricorder to detect the radiation level. We're going to open the main power flow control valve, flood the area. You need to target this exact spot and then back off. How's he going to lock that valve open? Setting the tricorder now. Target here and wait for the signal. Tack it out. Commander? Get back to the Farragut. Sir. That's an order. Henry. Tell Commander Smithfield. Tell Michelle. Oh, I'm sorry, Commander. But I can't obey that order. You'll have to tell her yourself. Captain, we're being held by the Farragut. On speakers. Donnelly. Donnelly. <laughs> what a surprise. Jack Carter. It's over. Over? How can it be over? You have one ship. I have an armada. The rift is open and it's stabilizing. And in a few short minutes, the invasion of your Federation will begin. Not going to happen. He's just stunned. That's tough. What? What's that? What is he doing? He's holding that valve open manually. Then there's no way we can bring him back. Too much interference. It's impossible. Nothing's impossible. We're closing the rift, Captain. You lose. Almost there, 90%. Torpedo arm and ready. This ends now. So you'll destroy that ship even with your own man aboard? Transporter room. Henry's still down there. Get him back. We can't. I think surrender terms are in order. Mr. Weston, you're relieved. Enough with the dramatics. Let's just make this as clean and painless as possible. Mr. Prescott. Press guard here, Captain. I've killed you before. 
I don't mind doing it again. It's been an honor serving with you. Deck seven. Congratulations, Captain. Well deserved. Thank you, Captain Cree. If you need the Geronimo, Captain, you get the Geronimo. Commodore Mori. Congratulations, Captain. Welcome aboard the Starbase 6. Good luck. Never lose that energy, Lieutenant. I won't, sir. You know, I'm gonna try to steal you away as soon as your current assignment is up. Yes, Captain. I'd like to present you this parting gift, Captain. She's in mint condition. I rebuilt her myself. Updated to use the new power packs. I don't know what to say. I hope you never have to use her, Captain. Except for target practice, of course. Thank you. You're welcome, sir. My privilege. You're gonna make a fine first officer. Don't let the ferret get down. You left some big shoes for me to fill, but I'll do my best. You'll do better than that. I'm sorry we didn't get a chance to work together for very long. Thank you for everything. It's been my pleasure, sir. 
you know? This is not exactly how I envision this to feel. You know, if he were here, he'd probably quote us some rule regulation about parties and celebrations. I always wondered if he was really quoting regulations or if he just made that up. He'll be missed. I remember something I once read. Some old wounds never truly heal and bleed again at the slightest word. I think that applies here. Multiple wounds. Permission to depart the Farragut, Captain. Permission granted. Goodbye, RT. Not goodbye. Till next time.
Starship Farragut is a Farragut Films production. In association with... NeoFX, visualizing the digital universe.